Okay, so in this video we're going to start talking about short division. Now effectively division is the opposite to multiplication and we can use the times tables in order to calculate the answers. So let's say for instance we've got something like 73 divided by 6. In other words what we're saying is how many lots of 6 are there in 73? So I have uh, 73 sweets and I'm going to make some party bags and in each of the party bags I have six sweets. So in other words, how many party bags can I make? Well if I know that 12 times 6 equals 72 then I can make 12 party bags and that will use 72 of the sweets and there will be one sweet left over. So the way we would write that would be 12 remainder 1 or 12 and 1 out of the group of 6. So 12 and 1 6 sweet left. Okay, let's take another example. So it might be we are asked something like 58 divided by 8. Okay, well again, using your times tables, you would know that 7 times 8 equals 56. Well, if I know that 7 times 8 is 56, then it means that I can get 7 lots of 8. So that would be 7 remainder 2, because I've used 56 and I have 58 available. So 7 remainder 2, or if I prefer, I can write it as 7 and 2 out of the 8 group availability that I wanted. So that's a very quick way of being able to calculate division by using times tables. There is another method which is called the bus stop method um, and that's going to come up in a, in a different video and if you have a look on the site there will be also some questions on this that you could try and see if you can try some of these yourselves but it is a good idea to also learn your times tables so you can know these different facts.